It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, sometimes, I bring you a tool, a tool that I use here in this shop or that I have featured on this channel. This week's tool, I got some goodies from Racetronics. The guys over at Racetronics hit me up, said, hey man, we wanna work with you, we wanna kinda send you something, what would you be interested in? And there was a list of things. This list piqued my interest for you guys, really. I have some of these already, don't have the full set, but these things come in super handy if you're ever doing AN fittings, braided line, AN fittings for fuel systems, trans cooler lines, some brake lines, I guess. This specific set of tools, though, is really made for the aluminum fittings. So you guys are probably familiar with uh, AN fittings. So like this is a bulkhead fuel fitting, uh, it's a dash eight, I believe. Uh, you got dash six, you got big ones, you got small ones. The reason that these tools are specific to aluminum is if you use regular wrenches on these, you will, you'll rub off the anodized coating that's on these and they just won't look near as cool, near as nice as they do when they're new. That's where these come in. So they've got a full, we've got a full set of uh, AN wrenches. They're also aluminum, also anodized, which helps save your fittings. And they got them all the way from 20 AN all the way down to three AN. Now these are, this is like a three, four wrench. You got a four, six, six, eight, eight, 10, 10, 12, 12, 16, and a 16, 20. And then they also make an adjustable. So this is an adjustable wrench that does basically the same thing. Uh, also aluminum and you can just clamp this right on your fittings. It actually has a uh, little guide on the side that kind of gets you dialed in on whatever size AN fitting you're using. So if you're using a, that'd be like a 10 there. Let's see if it matches. So we'll go to eight. Oh yeah, perfect. So like I said, when doing these uh, fuel lines, brake lines, not brake lines, because they're not usually, brake lines aren't ever aluminum, they're usually steel. So you're doing fuel lines, trans lines, really anything with these aluminum AN fittings, you really need these tools. Like I said, otherwise you're gonna mess up the actual fittings themselves. One of the things is though, is if you've ever done these type of setups, uh, making your own braided lines, one of the tough things is actually getting the line seated inside of these fittings. So typically what I'll do is I'll cut the line to size and I'll unscrew the fitting. It's got this little cap here and it's kind of tough to get it over that braided section. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of tape, maybe like one round or two rounds of tape. Actually, I'll tell you what I do. I, I put about three or four rounds on there when I cut it and then I'll unravel the tape where there's just one little round left. And that's just enough to kind of get this fitting over, over the line itself. And then I'll typically put a little oil on the threads and inside the tube itself. That way this piece will go inside the tube and you're not less likely to mar your, your threads when you're screwing this thing back in. And sometimes it takes a lot to kind of get it started. Uh, that's where this comes in. So these are magnetic uh, vice jaws. So they've got magnets on the back side. They're also made of aluminum. So you basically can then stick these in your vise just like that. And they are, they are grooved in a fashion where the fittings themselves will either fit in here horizontally or vertically. So you can put them in vertically and that'll help you get that line started or that threaded piece started in there, start screwing it down and then you'll grab your wrench and then tighten that thing all the way down. And if done correctly, it's not coming out. This little piece here has some little barbs inside that kind of hold on the line as you screw this in it expands it and it really just grabs a hold of that line which is why these are so great to begin with so yeah racetronics they make a bunch of stuff this is just one of the things i have you can go check them out at racetronics.com 
I'll drop you a link in the description. This is really the full set. If you're gonna do these lines, you're gonna do a, you know, a nice project, you wanna do braided lines, um, this is the set you need. The jaws, you got the adjustable wrench, and then you got all the wrenches themselves to use. These are awesome to have the track as well. If you ever need to kind of loosen one of the things up, take it off, whatever, you got what you need. So there you go. This week's tool, tools, aluminum AN wrenches. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. It's Friday, fool.